That's Mayor Ron Anders with the Mayor Minutes from the April 2nd, 2019 meeting. We began during the Committee of the Whole last night. Um, we appointed two members to the Historic Preservation Commission, Christian Dagg and Maven Beard, who had, Christian, Mr. Dagg had uh, fulfilled one partial term, Ms. Beard one full term, and so that we reappointed them, Ms. Beard for a full term and Mr. Dagg for a full term. And we appreciate their efforts uh, to serve our community and we appreciate the other applications we received as well. During the library board, uh, Councilwoman Beth Witten, the mayor pro tem, asked that we delay those appointments for two weeks uh, so we can study and evaluate the resumes and applications we received, which were 16 at this time. So we'll be making those couple appointments on, at the uh, April 16th meeting. And that included the Committee of the Whole. As we got into the regular meeting last night, we were able to award a number of employees with service awards. I'll go through those very quickly. Brad Henderson, Michelle Altman, Dustin Holt, Brian Leip, Joseph Lockhart, and Willie Sanford were all recognized for their terms here and working for the City of Auburn. We appreciate their great efforts. We also recognize Michael DeVore, who is retiring after 18 years of working in our library. And thank you, Michael, for all your good work. We recognize Caroline Willoughby, who has been our Auburn University SGA Director of City Relations. She finished up with us last night, and we'll have a new City Relations Director beginning at the next meeting in April. And we thank Caroline for her efforts and her enthusiasm to bring all the information regarding our student body to our City Council meetings every other week. And then finally, we recognize the Auburn High School girls basketball team. They went to their first ever Final Four in school history this year, and we were proud to bring them into the meeting last night and recognize them for their great efforts and the way they represented our community. During the consent agenda last night, we have a number of things that we worked on, that we approved. I'll just highlight a couple of those. We approved uh, design contracts for all of our Parks and Rec Phase One projects. That includes the Sam Harris Park Westview Greenway project. That includes the Town Creek Inclusive Playground project. That includes the Wake Lake Wilmore project, which is a community center and pool project. That includes the Denius Park project, and finally, and then also finally includes the Boykin Community Center Phase Two, which will be the clinic, the clinic that will be operated by the Auburn College of Pharmacy. So we're very excited about getting the ball rolling on all of those projects. Once again, this is part of a five-year master plan to improve, enhance, and build out our parks and rec facilities in our community. We also approved a contract with Dell Marketing to purchase two Dell VX Rail three-node clusters for $284,000. What is a VX Rail three-node cluster? I'll tell you. Um, these clusters will replace two virtualization servers that will be out of support this year and they will provide hyper-converged capabilities to the city's data centers. So I appreciate the hard work of our IT department. Um, I don't co totally understand what this is, but I trust them that they're doing a great job to provide the information that we need to operate the city and to give you the kind of services that you deserve. We also approved a contract with Forever Lawn Southeast to purchase ground cover for a new bocce ball court that will be built at the Martin Luther King Park. And we tabled a contract with uh, Hurricane Electronics for some new radios for our public safety, and we'll be talking about that next month. During ordinances last night, we had a very, very long discussion uh, about the ADDU ordinance. This is the Academic Detached Dwelling Unit Ordinance. We ended up passing the ordinance with two different amendments last night. I would encourage you to go to the city's website or the city's Facebook site to understand exactly what those amendments are. But we had a very fruitful discussion. We heard points from every, uh, each side of the argument. And uh, I appreciate the council's hard work and the staff's hard work to give us the kind of information we need to try to make a very difficult decision. But we did finally pass that last night after tabling this from the March 5th meeting. And then we finally passed also the zoning ordinance and the zoning map related to the Harper Avenue uh, focus area study. This was also, uh, uh, this is a second reading, I should say, from the last meeting in, uh, in March. And um, this is a great effort, once again, from our planning staff and the public and the owners of the properties in the Harper Avenue area to really evaluate the redevelopment of that area, which has happened rapidly, so that we have a plan for that in the future. On the consent agenda last night, we approved two tax abatements for Sohan. The first one is for Sohan NTN Drive Shaft USA and for Sohan Auto USA Corporation. Combined, Sohan is going to be investing $28,550,000 and in creating an additional 20 jobs in our community. We appreciate all that Sohan has done uh, to grow their business here in Auburn. We're proud of the kind of employees that are out there that are helping Sohan grow their business. 
and I'm very excited that this is a company that has been in Auburn for a while and they are expanding. And once again, I think this is a great sign that things are going well for us here in the city of Auburn. We also approved uh, a resolution last night that's gonna allow us to have an entertainment district in downtown Auburn for this Saturday. Um, as many of us know that our Auburn basketball team is going to the Final Four, so you can come downtown Saturday and there will be an entertainment uh, district going on in downtown Auburn. Once we, get, once we move forward to Monday, there will also be an entertainment district uh, in Auburn on Monday. And if we're playing on Monday night, that there'll be free parking in downtown uh, Auburn on Monday. That leads me to say thank you to Coach Pearl and the basketball team. What an exciting run you've made here to the Final Four. We're so proud of you and thank you for the joy and excitement you've brought this community. And we can't wait to watch you play in Minneapolis this weekend. I want to remind everyone that this Saturday, April 6th, is Hazardous Waste Collection Day. So it's your opportunity from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Environmental Services Complex at 365 North Donahue Drive. So for those household waste items that you're, you weren't sure what to do with, uh, those chemicals, those cleaners that you're not sure that whether you can put that in the garbage or not, and you've been holding on to that, paint, this is your opportunity to take those by the Environmental Services uh, Department and they'll take care of that for you. Also, if there's any type of electronics or paper documents that you haven't you don't know what to do with that they'll be shredding uh, on site as well. So take advantage of this and uh, we thank our environmental services for their good work in providing this great services service to our residents. The second draft on the short-term rental ordinance is now available. If you can go to auburnalabama.org backslash feedback, you can see that second draft. It will be available to you for about the next 30 days. We ask all of our citizens to evaluate that, read through that, give us your comments. We will be moving forward with a public hearing uh, in the next 60 days as we try to approach some type of real policy that we can all live with regarding short-term rentals in Auburn. So that's available for your uh, opinion now, and please share that with us. Auburn, Alabama, backslash feedback. This is Ron Anders, Mayor of Auburn, and thank you for listening to the Mayor's Minutes.